One of the first questions that business owners, almost to a person, has to ask themselves is, from the very beginning, what kind of business structure should I create? Mm -hmm. What are the options there and some considerations for new business owners? There is a range of options and they uh, each have their own advantages or disadvantages depending upon your own situation and what the business goals are. Um, at the, I guess, first level is what's called a sole proprietorship and that's an individual that owns a business and carries out business um, kind of on his own, his or her own. Uh, he so if a person wanted to start maybe a buying service, buy groceries for shut-ins or something and decided, well, tomorrow morning I'm going to start and do that, is that a business? That can be a business, that absolutely. A sole proprietorship? It, that would be a sole proprietorship. It doesn't require any formal uh, filings or anything like that. You can do them, but it's not required. Um, and, it, and you can start your business. Okay, the next level up is what? A general partnership or a partnership where two or more people decide that they want to do something together. And if it was two or more people that wanted a, a buying a business, they would could start doing business. Okay, uh, they could pretty well decide on the spur of the moment and start right away just as in a sole proprietorship? They could do so if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, there's a range of um, detail they could and probably should consider in doing that, but as ter in terms of a operating business, they could go ahead and get started that okay. way. Next level? Probably a limited partnership. Uh, that's a partnership where it's a little bit more um, like a sole proprietorship, but also incorporates some aspects of the next levels of cor uh, corporations in terms of there's one partner that kind of runs the business, the general partner. Then there are limited partners who have some sort of personal protection. They're um, not in charge of the day-to-day -day business, but they've invested in the business. Okay. The next level? Limited liability companies. Uh, again, that's something that kind of uh, incorporates the uh, sole proprietorship aspects of control and running your own business with some of the corporate protections um, that a corporation can provide. Um, okay, a lot of people think of a limited liability company as a corporation. Is it a corporation? It's not technically a corporation. It's simply a company. It is a company that um, is taxed not like a corporation, more like an individual. And so, for example, if my company were a limited liability company, I'd pay taxes uh, based on my own personal tax return. Exactly, okay. exactly. The next level? The S corporation is probably the next level, and what that entails, that is, it's a separate legal entity which is um, not, is, it's not taxed like the corporation. Um, it allows an individual to have the control of a sole proprietorship and yet some of the protections of a corporation. Okay, and the next? The, the standard corporation which you and I might think of as, um, you know, the big corporations that we read about in the paper or things like that. The standard corporation, they are um, set up in a formal manner. Uh, they are separate legal entities which means that they can enter into contracts on their own. It's the con it's, they are um, an entity such that they are not dependent upon who the employees are, who the owners are, things like that. It's, it's uh, perpetual.